Hi, this is Cindy Abbott for Behind the Camera. Today our guest is Jonathan Sanger, who has spent the entire summer shooting the film Marshall. Let's talk to him about that experience. You spent a good amount of time recently in Buffalo yes, and uh, making Marshall. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, we were so proud to have you here. But what was it like? Tell me a little bit well, about your it was, experience. It was a terrific experience. You know, uh, I mean, the, the simplicity of, of the whole idea was that, you know, you, you're always looking for uh, benefits when you're making movies as a producer. You got to find the place where you can get some support from a city that would help you and give you some benefits. And uh, early in the process of looking for where we were going to make this film, we looked at a number of different cities. And we came to Buffalo in that process. Not And Buffalo at the time was not, I won't say it was on the top of the list. It wasn't the, because we didn't know anything about it. I mean, we really hadn't heard much and there hadn't been that many movies that I had known that had actually worked here. Well, tell a little bit about <clears throat> what the, the, the idea of Marshall is for right. those people well, that don't know. Marshall, Marshall is a story, it's, it's actually set in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's a true story of Thurgood Marshall's, uh, an early case in his career that took place in, in, in a civil rights case and a rape case actually that took place in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And he was working for the NAACP. The NAACP uh, was really down on its uh, funds. They didn't have a lot of money and they needed a win. I mean, most of the kind of cases, they only took civil rights cases. They only took cases where they believed that the defendant was uh, innocent. And uh, Marshall was their chief lawyer. He was a young lawyer in his, in his 30s, early 30s actually. And um, yet he'd already argued a case in front of the Supreme Court. And he had been mostly taking cases in the South where the opportunity to win was very minimal. I mean, he, he often uh, would try to just get jail time for somebody who, rather than having them killed. So, I mean, it was, the, you know, the, the, the wins were, were few and far between. And this one case came up in Connecticut and it was an opportunity where there was a real shot that he might actually be able to make a difference. He came up to Connecticut, he met the defendant who was uh, the chauffeur of a, a socialite in Connecticut who had accused him of rape. And of course, the, this was uh, a black man and she was a white woman and um, it was a pretty open and shut case. Everyone assumed that he would, this guy would go away or be uh, executed. I mean, you know, certainly be put away for a very long time. Marshall came in, assessed that the man was, uh, he believed was innocent, uh, even though he was not a Boy Scout. He was somebody who had had a, a record and he was, you know, a difficult, uh, a difficult guy to assume he was going to be able to win with him. And the judge in, in Connecticut would not let him argue the case. Wow. Because he said, well, you're not, a, you know, you're, you're not uh, from here. Um, we're not going to grant you reciprocity to, prosecute, uh, to defend the case. We'll let you sit at the defense table, but you can't speak. And Marshall had to figure out whether he even wanted to take the case at that point. He was very angry. And, it, and the only way he could do it was using a local lawyer and in fact, it was a lawyer who had never been in a major case before. He'd only done real estate law. <laughs> and um, he found this guy who he basically had be the front man. And he had to teach him how to uh, defend his client. So, so and that's that, the story. That's the story. <laughs> so, you know, there are so many uh, cities, states out there looking for films. You mm -hmm. know, they're actively. What made you come to Buffalo? Well, first of all, Buffalo is one of the one of the areas that the this this is a movie that takes place in 1941, and Buffalo still has a great amount of uh, architecture and and uh, areas in the city that look like 1941. They still you you can make a movie in a period where everything hasn't been torn down and replaced. What was the toughest thing to find? Toughest thing to find was a courtroom, okay. the, a courthouse, and Buffalo was the again became that made Buffalo the front runner because there's the federal courthouse here that has been decommissioned but it, it had th three courtrooms in it and it's all from uh, earlier than the period that we were filming and so it was a perfect perfect location uh, if we could get permission to shoot there and that wasn't necessarily going to be the easiest thing in the world because uh, there were 
apparently plans for this courthouse, and uh, they weren't necessarily going to uh, let us take it over. I mean, the thing about courthouses anywhere you go is that you're very rarely going to find a city that has a courthouse that's available. It's just, you know, well, free. Well, you can't, you can't <laughs> stop. Yeah. Well, and you can't. And you can't stop. And, and security yes. and all that. So this security. was perfect. What other locations did you use? Well, we used the um, old train station, which wow. is in a miraculous location. We were floored when we saw it. We never planned to use it, but, uh, you know, uh, Tim and and Rich, who are who are from the uh, the uh, film office here, took us around and showed us every place we could have imagined. In fact, when I came up here with uh, Reggie Hudland, who is the director, we scouted for three days early just to look around to see what existed, and we found about 75 percent of our locations within three days. Wow! Which was amazing. I mean, you know, just immediately. I mean. Uh, Tim would take us to a building, and that was it. We looked at it and we said, well, that's it. We got it. This is it. It's perfect. We found the courthouse. Obviously, that was a, a perfect central setting for the, for the movie. And I we, have to tell you, you <clears> used <throat> a friend of mine's uh, house to shoot. Well, uh, Jennifer's, uh, <laughs> Jennifer to, and Steve's house. I want to tell apartment. you something about that also. It's an interesting thing. But having filmed in many, many locations in this country and other places, you usually know that when you come into a neighborhood and you bring your trucks and you start parking in people's spaces, there's going to be a problem. People are going to complain, and they do. They always do. I mean, certainly in New York and L in New York City and Los Angeles, where they've seen so much, they are always trying to get you out of their neighbors. This was a situation where, I, and I was concerned about it. Quite frankly, I said, "We're going to be in these, you know, neighborhoods, and we better be nice because it's going to be very difficult to make sure that people are on our side." The first day of shooting in, in a neighborhood in Buffalo, we, our trucks are there, our crew is out on the street, we're blocking off people from their houses, and people from this, the houses around your friend's house came out with cookies to give to our crew. I said, this is it. I'm only filming movies in Buffalo. <laughs> I said, this is the best example of, 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 of your, uh, I mean, Buffalo's, uh, not its logo, but its, its motto of being the neighborly city. This city was of good City of good neighbors. Yes. Well, it absolutely lived up to that uh, motto completely for us. It was a great experience. Well, I understand that you got a, a gold buffalo. I know it's not real, but it, the mayor gave you a Buffalo. The I mean, did. they really welcomed you. But tell me where it sits. I think this is very interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, I have a, I have a, in in my house. I have a little uh, shelf in my living room, and it has. I, I won an Oscar, and I have an Oscar. I have a British Academy Award uh, for the Elephant Man, the first movie I produced, and I also have a French César Award for the uh, for the Elephant Man, also. Well, and now right next to those other <laughs> awards, I have the Gold Buffalo. Go. Go Buffalo sits right next to the Oscar. Oh, now so see that, that was an important thing that, for me. That is a very <laughs> important thing. You know, though, it is. It's interesting because uh, I've been in this town long enough that I remember stories about of when they were doing the natural and talking to the locations yeah. manager there. That when they mm -hmm. came, they had only planned to do one scene. And they ended up doing, you know, the cornfield and mm -hmm. the, you know, use the the, the uh, Ellicott Square building for the hotel lobby that we do have many, many locations. Oh, no, they're great locations. And I'll tell you also about the natural. Um, it just coincidentally happens that one of my good friends for a very long time and when really from the time we both started working in the film business is Barry Levinson, who directed who directed it, and Mark Johnson, who was its producer. And these are both, and Mark and I have worked together on eight movies, and Barry and I know each other forever, back way when, when he used to live in Washington, D.C. And I knew about the, the I, only after we came here, Tim had told me, and I had completely forgotten. And I called Barry up, and I said, you know, I know you shot The Natural up there. How was it? And he said, oh, it was great. It was terrific. I mean, it's the best kept secret in, in the country. I mean, you know, there were all kinds of great locations. So, I, you know, it was endorsed by somebody who I know and trust also, but I didn't need that. I mean, the fact is, uh, I knew very, very early on that this was going to be a very positive experience, and that not all movies are. This one really was. We are glad that you had a wonderful no, was great. time was here in Buffalo. We hope that you will come back. Well, and, uh, I'm hoping to come back, and I'm hoping to bring other films here, and I've told Tim and others, I've told the mayor also, I said, use me as a resource. Tell people who are not on the fence about coming to Buffalo. Buffalo, let me talk to them because it was one of the great experiences, literally, and I'm not, I, you know, everybody 
you know, uses hyperbole when they talk about in the movie business. But for me, I had an early wonderful experience. The very first film I made was The Elephant Man. And it was an amazing experience for me. A lot of experiences that I've had over the years, and this is 35 years ago, a lot of the experiences have not been so great. This it was, this, I could only compare it to that first experience in terms of uh, a, an absolutely seamless uh, operation. Everything was, was really, really terrific for us. And I, you know, I would hope for the sake of Buffalo and upstate that you guys get a lot more films up here. Jonathan Sanger, hey, it's thank a great you pleasure. very much. What a delight to talk to you. Thank you.